Consider a scenario of a very efficient teacher teaching mathematics. All the students like her. But as you know, in the exam, the question will be about the subject mathematics, not about the teacher. If a student writes in the exam paper that he doesn't know the subject mathematics, but he likes the teacher, then what would you think? It would be very inappropriate that student might fail the exam. The greatest teacher, Jesus, came to this world to teach us about a very important topic that is the kingdom of God. How do we know? Jesus said, I must announce the goodness of the kingdom of God to the other towns too. This is why I was sent. So it is very clear in three years of Jesus' ministry, mainly three times he spoke about his death and his resurrection. The stuff, all the teachings and parables were about the kingdom of God. After resurrection, Jesus spent 40 days speaking to them about the kingdom of God. So why did he spend all these years teaching about the kingdom of God? Well, that is a real hope for the mankind. All the creation eagerly waiting for the kingdom reality. But some popular view says the kingdom of God is in heaven somewhere in the sky and we reach there when we die. If that is so, Jesus doesn't need to spend all these years to teach about this topic. Consider following these simple and direct scriptures. Jesus says, Behold, I am coming soon. He is coming soon to rule the earth. How do we know? Isaiah chapter 2. He will judge between the nations. They will not learn war anymore. What would you think? Nations are here on earth with the clear borders and not in heaven. So it is about the earth where we live. Consider this. He will surely save the oppressed and the poor people. There will be abundant grain when he rules the earth. During his reign, people will not say, I am sick. Do you see? Very simple and clear scriptures. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us through his son. Please note, it is not about his son, but the subject he and all the prophets had thought about. Denominations after denominations speak about who Jesus is, what he has done for us. It is important. But we can't ignore at any means what his main subject was. Again, there is a deeper hope. Surely there will be world peace, super lifestyle, abundant wealth, no poverty, no sickness during his reign. But what would be the main intention of Jesus while he would be ruling as a king on earth? Jesus will teach us about the one true God and he will prepare us for the greatest glorious life with the Father. Isaiah chapter 2 verses 3 says, People will say, that time, let's go into the mountain of God. He will teach us about his ways and we will walk in his path. Surely, Father loves us so deeply that he wants to live with us. We can see this in the Garden of Eden in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, and the tabernacle of God, Holy City Jerusalem, coming from heaven to live among mankind in Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. As we all know, we are living in the last days. Now let's relearn about the kingdom of God and let's prepare for his arrival. May Father graciously open our eyes to see the reality of the kingdom of God, which would be the social, political, financial and spiritual restoration which will happen on earth when Jesus rules the earth.